All right, so one of the next items to do is to restore these vinyl seats. Um, they're the original ones from the boat. They've actually held up pretty well considering they've been around for 30 years. Um, there's a couple of tears down the bottom. There's a few areas where the vinyl has come off its original glue. Um, so what I've done here is I've re-glued and clamped, again using ASOS F2, to get those to hold back into place. Uh, the next step is going to be to actually look at some of these tears. An example of a tear. Down here, you can see down here we've got a bit of a tear. Um, I'm going to repair that and um, then these are going to get masked and sprayed. They're going to get sprayed with both uh, black and white vinyl paint. I'll see if I'll do the piping. The piping is actually pretty white. So it's definitely the seat area that needs the main coat. Um, this has been here for a couple of days uh, with the clamps, so that can be undone. And we'll go from there. Alright, so these have now been washed just with soapy water to get all of the general dirt and grime off them. Um, tried to cut reasonably deep into the fold too to get all that out, and then they've been drying for a couple of days. The bases have been, the vinyl's been re-glued around the base to keep everything back to its original spot. And the next process that I'm going to carry out is <clears throat> after going and repairing those patches, which I'll just do with some tape, um, I'm going to give it a wipe down with some degreaser. And then I've bought vinyl and fabric paint, black, obviously for the black parts, and then a white area to deal with these stains that are on here and are not coming out so we can get this back to looking in great condition. The black is actually reasonably faded as well. Obviously it's had 30 years out in the sun, so it's holding up amazingly well considering. So I've, I've done the boards on the side of the boat. They're sitting over here. Those These have already been um, resprayed, washed and resprayed, and they're looking great. Um, and I wiped these down with a degreaser before I started as well. So. Those are kind of a bit of a test run to see how everything goes. The only thing that I've noticed is, you might be able to see it if I go down the side, is that as you cast that paint, if you stop and then wipe back again, uh, it leaves an area where it's slightly shinier. You can probably see down through there. I don't think this is going to be noticeable once it's on the boat and once I've given this uh, some vinyl protectant, but I guess lesson learnt for the seats is not to stop when you're spraying. That was caused by me going like this. And coming back and going working my way down so every time I paused and came back there was an area that was thicker and um, much shinier so when I do the seats I'm going to make sure that I come in and continue off and certainly if I'm going to come back is to turn the can away and then bring the can back in rather than go up and down which you can normally do with things that are a bit more absorbent but because this paint just sits you any change in duration you get a thicker area of paint and you can try going thicker still but it just keeps adding more and more thickness to it so so they're looking great compared to what they were um, but uh, there was definitely a technique to getting that vinyl paint on. All right, so these have now been taped and all the holes repaired down the bottom. Now I just need to go and mask off the white areas and get ready for spray painting the black. I've just pitched them up on some boxes so that I'll be able to spray them more easily. All right, these have now been fully masked. It took about an, uh, at least an hour on each one. Um, first off, I masked all the piping. And I've used green tape for that, which I used because the piping's white and I wanted to be able to see that I'd mask everything correctly. Um, I ran out of green and I started having to use a white tape, which was actually much thinner and it worked much better. So my advice would be probably just go with, a, get a tape that's really thin and flexible rather than one that um, is a bit stiff, which this green tape was. The other thing I did was I cut it in half lengthways, which gave me a better piece to wrap around. This is the first one I did. The masking is a bit rougher, <laughs> I struggled a bit at the start, um, but by the end it was getting a lot easier and then by the time I was finishing this one in white, that's got masking tape all around it, it was it was a lot easier to work with and I was getting a lot better at it. Um, I just used paper to mask the centre area, so that's all masked up as well. So I'll take these outside and I'll give them paint. Um, I'm not going to mask the piping. Uh, well, I'm not going to mask around the piping when I spray the white. I'm simply going to mask this area here and spray that because this piping is actually pretty white. It's been really exposed on the elements, um, so it's pretty, it's uh, you know, rubbed pretty clean. It's just these areas here where things have been sitting that they've got quite dark. So I'll take these outside, start spraying the black, and once those are done, I will then 
net them dry, probably do a second coat, and then I will um, take the masks off and uh, swap the mask around to get the, the white area exposed, and then obviously paint those as well, and then we'll be done. It's all done. It's come out pretty well. Um, a little bit of wind, which made it a little bit harder, but I was better to do that than do it inside because this is pretty fumy paint. It's very thin and there's a lot of solvent on it. Um, the masking's come up quite well. I've take, done the other one already, taken the paint the masking off. You can see here that that masking's working quite well. I've just got to remove the tape up the top. Um, but yeah, that's held up well. So now take this off, probably leave it 24 hours to cure. I don't want to put masking tape down to of this other vinyl paint and have it come away so I'll let that cure dry really well mask out the white area and then paint that all right so these have been masked up uh, ready to do the white um, this masking tape is quite sticky which is not the best masking tape to use on vinyl because it can pull the paint off on the black that I've done and it's already I've pulled up the masking tape in a couple of spots and there's definitely a bit of like black speckles on it um, but I can't see any evidence of that on the actual vinyl itself like you can't see marks where it's peeled away but clearly this is a bit tackier so I guess I should have used the green the low tech stuff on this and used this white on the piping which was quite happy so I'll get underway spray these and then I'll take off the um, probably take the paper off in about an hour and we should be ready to go all right well that went on really well I just went lightly over next one lightly over came back and just continued doubling around and around them as I went. Um, I figured it was better to stop the runs. Again, it's very thin paint. The bottom pieces are straightforward, but when you're trying to get a fair amount of paint on those, it can easily run down. So I thought I'd just keep going around until I'd used up the whole the whole tin of paint. Um, the, the first time round, you can see that you're putting on a layer, but you can obviously still see all the marks and everything below. But second time round, it starts cleaning up and becoming completely clear it's pretty amazing so when this dries the quality this is in these lights which are showing all the I guess the dapples and the padding and the vinyl down lights but you can see that the condition is pretty amazing it looks like brand new vinyl so I'll let this dry I may take this uh, this masking um, off tonight if I can do so gently see how that comes off um, give it a bit of time to dry but otherwise we're looking really good uh, then these will be done so it was a tin I didn't need a whole tin of black to do the sides and I probably didn't need a whole tin to do the these white areas either I just kept going uh, made the most of it um, but it was probably already pretty white there's no sign that there's peels so there's no real downside to putting more on uh, I've probably got a little bit left in the tin I just decided to stop it was clearly enough so yeah take this marking tape off and these vinyl seats will then be done all right, here they are. Um, this is about 45 minutes after spraying them. The masking tape didn't stick, came off fine. Um, the black is shinier. The white is a bit more of a flat white, as you can see, which is fine. I have put a, actually I haven't. I thought I was gonna say I'd done a final protectant on the black, but I haven't done that yet. So that's what I'll do tomorrow just to Get everything looking nice but the whites come out amazingly well it looks like brand new vinyl um, you can still press it it's still soft this is within half an hour so it's still going to dry um, it said it'll dry within an hour um, but the actual vinyl excuse the uh, poor light in here looks fantastic still make out the texture that obviously changes with the reflection 
it's looking great. So these now look essentially good as new. Um, it's probably similar to when they were bought 30 years later.